so yeah today will be the AWS mock interview day two already we have discussed about day one if anyone watching this video on youtube right you can check out the playlist there will be a AWS interview questions and answers in the playlist section in our youtube channel you can go and check the first day one mock interview so today will be the day two mock interview raju is going to participate on this okay and please like this video so that we will get motivation to continue this series so like target will be 25 likes if i get 25 likes on this video definitely i will upload the next mock interview yes raju uh, can you able to introduce yourself don't reveal any your personal data okay give some so and so and just introduce yes and treat uh, this as my name is deplus don't treat it as a devops okay as this is aws focus should be in aws itself uh so hi so my name is raju and uh, i've been working as a cloud engineer for 3 uh, years and uh, i'm having a, uh, i'm supporting all the uh, uh, prod pre prod and qa teams uh, like my uh, i am having experience in uh, tools like uh, jenkins terraform kubernetes and also aws services like uh, ec2 vpc s3 ebs so that's great yeah this is so yeah you today major focus will be on ec2 okay i will share my screen so that uh, you can able to see the questions i will edit this i will okay increase the font yes now you can able to see right yes so the first question will be explain the difference between stopping and terminating an ec2 instance what is uh, stop instance and what is the terminate instance what is the difference between them while while we stop the instance like uh, instance will uh, is still uh, like uh, made available to us by the aws so like it it uh, aws will still charge us for that thing and uh, while we terminate it it is like uh, uh, aws like no no ec2 instance are allocated to us Super. it's completely remote yes how you will securely connect to your ec2 instance i have created a ec2 instance okay if you see i have created an ec2 instance here so how you will securely connect to your ec2 instance what are the best practices you will follow nothing but simple question how you will connect to ec2 instance what are the steps to connect an ec2 instance i have created a ec2 instance here how you will okay. connect i i i need to log into my ec2 instance how you will do that that is a simple question uh, i in will, every interview uh, they will ask okay i will use the aws key and uh, like pem key or pep key and i will connect it to connect to the ec2 instance okay what is the command or, to connect how you will connect oh uh, Like I forgot. Also, like using the CLI, also we can connect. Uh, think uh, AWS configure uh, if we use. No. Okay. SSH using SSH we will connect, right? Yes, 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 yes. SSH. SSH minus I pem file name. Ah yes. Okay. My understand. Okay. I will show you what exact steps. Don't worry. Next, shall we go to next question? Yes. In interview, they will ask. try to remember so what are elastic ips so when should you use them oh so elastic ips or like uh, it will not change like it will remain standard and uh, uh, we will use them while creating vpcs and all no for creating ec2 instance when or you create stop ec2 instance right what it will do it will remove the public ip but if you want to have a public ip which is permanent you can use elastic ip no, nothing but you will purchase a ip address public ip address okay i will show you that don't worry so how do you automate the deployment of any instance instance using cloud formation nothing but aws cloud formation using aws cloud formation how you will create an instance instance 
you will write a cloud formation template right ah uh, yes yes oh. but like Nowadays people are using Terraform as well, but uh, you know you should know how to write a Terraform or a cloud formation as well. Okay. So do you know auto scaling group and uh, how you will configure it? No, like I know what is auto scaling group, but I have not configured it. Like oh. auto scaling group is used when uh, uh, the one like uh, it will automatically scale up or scale down based on yes. the uh, resources. Okay. That's it for today. Shall we check the answers for all questions? Yes, yes. So first question I have asked you explain the difference between stopping and terminating each instance. So stopping an instance, the instance is stopped and can be started again later. So EBS volume remain attached and data is preserved. So you are not charged for the instance, but you are charged for EBS storage. Okay. Terminating an instance, instance is permanently deleted, any attached EBS volume, unless they are configured to be deleted, also deleted, and data is lost, no charges are incurred after termination. That is the difference. How do you securely connect to each two instance? I told you that using SH, use an SH client to connect to instance public IP, DNS name or IP address. SH minus I, PEM file, EC2 user, nothing but username at the right, public IP address. If you are using Windows instance, you will use RDP use remote desktop protocol to connect so keep a use keep a to authenticate connection security group to allow the ports incoming and in inbound so you will use bastion host to connect to private subnet so what are elastic ips when should you use them Elastic IPs are static public IP address that can be associated with EC2 instances. They can be moved between instances or network interfaces in case of instance failure or scaling events. Nothing but maintain a fixed IP address for your application. So if the EC2 instance has failed, you can use that same IP address to another EC2 instance. So use for high availability followed by EC2 in different availability zone. So how do you automate deployment of EC2 instance using AWS Cloud Formation template? Right, AWS template version, resource, EC2 instance, type of your EC2 instance, properties, instance type, image ID, key name, security group. So this is the template AML format. You just save the template, right? Go to AWS management console, go to cloud formation, create stack, upload this template file, create. That's it. So previously we used to create like this using cloud formation template but nowadays companies are using terraform but there are still there are companies use cloud formation then at a time you need to write this cloud formation templates then after i've asked you what is an auto scaling group auto scaling group ensures the right number of ec2 instances are running to handle the load for your application it automatically increases or decreases the number of instances right whatever you said you are right how you will configure that First, you will create a launch configuration. So, what you will do, you will define AMI, instance type, key pair, security group, and other configurations. Then, after you will create a auto scaling group. First, you will specify the launch configuration which I have created. Okay, then after you will set to maximum and minimum. So, whenever there is a traffic, what are the you have kept maximum and minimum? It depending upon that, it will scaling and scale down. Okay. So scaling policy define when to add or remove instances based on CPU utilization. Okay, it will mention the whenever the CPU utilization is huge, then only it will create the EC2 instance. That is the condition. So if you want to execute the same thing using CLI, right? You can use this command. Okay, AWS auto scaling create launch configuration. This is the manual. This is the using command line AWS CLI. These are the commands. Okay. Just check it out. Auto scaling create launch configuration. Auto scaling create auto scaling group. Auto scaling put scaling policy. Okay. I will stop the recording.